Alrighty guys, welcome back again to more of Quantum Break Story Campaign Missions. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. And I know I say this every video, every time I start. It's just crazy. And I just love y'all. Just keep doing what you're doing. Man, I just want to explain something before I start. Now, this game is becoming very serious. Now, I did complete the first act of this game. I'm not sure how many acts there are in this game. But, uh... But I will be trying to squeeze these videos in, guys. And I still haven't done the ending of Rise yet, but I will definitely be posting that, guys, later on this week and probably next week. I'll show y'all guys the ending of Rise so I can finish that series up. And then, guys, in the coming weeks, I will be getting Tom Clancy The Division. It's going to be so epic. I cannot wait to play that game, even though I'm a month late. But anyway, guys, let's do this. Use force. Remove any loose ends. So we're inside another world. Now, it seems like now we're Serene, which is the guy that we saw in the last cutscene uh, in the last video. And I know I'm talking right now, but... I could mount a broad PR strategy, get the city on our side. But that leaves us with the loose ends. Precisely. The choice is yours, but keep in mind. The men will view your decision. All right, so we're going to keep following him. All right, my bad. I didn't mean to do that. So basically, Serene has the same abilities as Jack, basically. And I think he was exposed to that thing as well. No, look, they got a collectible here. What is this? How long until the core is ready for transport? It'll be en route to Monarch headquarters in less than an hour. Installation should be complete before the gala. Good. Alright, that didn't seem... Oh, that's basically that machine that opens the black portal to get your abilities. Let's see what this is. It was the first time I'd visited the Ground Zero operation in ages. The location I'd arrived in when I went 17 years back in time. The location where my fate was sealed six years ago. Oh, okay, so that makes sense. So this is basically like the plant, what it looks like. All right, I'm not going to check every collectible. All right, what is this? We had Jack in custody, but I was starting to witness visions from the future, which made it clear that could change very soon. All right, y'all can read the rest. If y'all want to pause and read all this stuff, basically, I'm telling you, it's important to read documents in every video game because it, I guess, explains the moral story. All right, so looks like we need to talk to them. Sir. See what happens. Who is this? Amy Ferrero. She's one of the witnesses. Awaiting your orders on how to proceed. All right, guys, so let's see what happens. All right, let's do this. Press Y. My powers grew stronger, even as the Cronon Syndrome worsened. I could choose a path that would become the actual future. But it wasn't optional. The moment wouldn't end until I made up my mind. The Junction Power reveals two potential futures. Your decision at each jump point was to steer the stories of both games and live action show. Okay, guys, so that basically a game like this is basically where you can choose different sides of a story and it will alter the story mode, basically. Now, I'm not sure if I would do the whole story or maybe do another side, but we'll see. I'll choose the sides wisely. So let's do this. To show the hard line, to show the PR. Hmm. Which one do you think I should choose, guys? Uh, all right, let's do LT. Let's do it. Potential threats to our plan need to be erased. Wait! Monarch would take a hardline approach. Crush all obstacles, eliminate all witnesses. It would be harsh. But I had made hard choices for the greater good before. I dug through the area and I found everything I could on your bro. This is messed up, man. Trusted monarch. But the people of Riverport would turn against us. You murderer! Our secrets would be safe, but the public would hate us, and Jack would gain new allies. Monarch's got no authority to stop you, and you tell that to everybody on that bridge. All right, Serene chose to a hardline approach. He orders all witnesses to university operations eliminated. All right, guys, let's do the PR and see what happens. And I'll choose whatever, which one. I want to stay. And that violence was because of Jack Joyce. Monarch would take a PR-friendly approach and manipulate the public into siding with us. Our lies would give us control. The manhunt continues as authorities search for Jack Joyce. Hey, somebody 
sneaking around down there. Hey! I think that's Jack Joyce! We'd use the media to expose, then hunt for Jack. I uploaded all the files I stole on that USB stick from the Monarch security station. But the eyewitnesses would be out there, and Jack would learn our secrets. All right, so Serene chooses the PR approach. He manipulates media from framing Jack Joyce as the villain in the university incident. So basically, guys, so basically, I say guys, so basically, guys, that this is between good and evil. Now, I believe if you choose the hard line, you're going to choose the evil approach. And I'm sorry if you heard that noise in the background. I don't know what that was. But uh, if you choose the hard line approach, then that's the evil side. If you choose the PR, that's a good choice. So you know what I'm going to choose, the good choice. Let's do this. We can't risk any unwanted attention. Convince the witnesses not to talk. Keep eyes on them and send them home. Initialize a PR campaign. We need the city on our side. Not this one. She's the head of the anti-monarch movement. I think we're looking at the new face of our campaign. Jack! There's no other way out. We're going through the machine. Oh, wait. No! Jack! This way! Jack! I use my power to guide us. To decide how to best prepare for the inevitable end of time. That gives the chosen few a chance to survive. I've seen the end of time. Time's up. The one in the middle, I assume that's your mother. On the left, of course, your father. And on the right, the little one. How old is she? One fourteen Lafayette. Is that correct? That was taken not five minutes ago by my associate, Michael. What do you want? I want a statement. And you don't want Michael outside of your house a moment longer. What happens to me? Well, that's entirely up to you. I'm so glad we could work this out. Seems your work's been undone. We just lost communication with Jack Joyce's transport. How the fuck does that happen? Knowing how isn't important, you just need to find him. Wincott is working on a location. Great. What is it? What? Something's wrong. University. 
That's not how we operate. It was sloppy. Have all your operations gone smoothly? Go home, Liam. Wait for the call. I'm sure your wife misses you. Good thing about our friend Stan is Stan makes it easy. See, the guy goes around using the same username and password everywhere he goes. Now, <laughs> that means that his cloud isn't so protected. May I present to you Exhibit A. <laughs> wow, God, this guy's swinging for the fences. And the... what is that? What are you doing, Bear? Coffee cup. No, I know it's a coffee cup, but what is it doing on my table? The fuck? You know what this is? Do they have these in Idaho? Iowa. Whatever. Use it. You tell me what's next, Brenner? Uh, I don't know. I know you don't know. And that makes me sad for you. All we do now is upload our girl's video to Stan and our friends at WZWY, send Stan a note with some of his private pics, and last but not least, we post a letter. That letter allows Reclaim to take full responsibility for everything that's happening. Signed sincerely, your local terrorist, Jack Joyce. You can say it. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> it's... <laughs> Shit. Mr. Hatch, perfect timing. Me and Brenner, we just dug up some major dirt on uh, <laughs> on our news director over at WZWY. He'll be uh, he'll be running our copy and posting that girl's video within an hour. Good work, Woodcut. Where are we with Joyce? Joyce? Uh, well, I. I got a lock on his transpo. I mean, I've hacked into his camera. I'm, I'm waiting to find a locale. It's not, it's not, it's not incredibly easy. Keep an eye on it. And when you find him, contact Burp directly. I think we have a traitor in our midst. Traitor? Hello? Hello? I'll let you go, Mr. Hatch. Thank you. Was that Martin Hatch? Get the fuck out of my office. Get the fuck out of my office. Things have been really bad at work. I'm sorry. I just... I dreamt you were a cat. A cat? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All these big furry bear paws. Way too big for your body. It was a strange creature. But I knew it was you. I have to get back to work soon. You work more than any field manager in the history of field managers. I know. <sighs> Baby, you haven't been home in two days. Your mom's being difficult. 
Oh, I'm, I'm, she is, I'm she's being, being difficult, huh? She's being very difficult. <laughs> what happened? Um, <laughs> what? I don't think that's the, the baby. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay. You went. <laughs> Close your eyes. Okay, go. Cool. Yeah. Burke, you got a lead on Joyce. What is it? I was able to track his transport to a warehouse on Burgundy and Wilkins. It's inside Ground Zero Perimeter. Sending you the coordinates now.